तो बच्चों इस वीडियो में हम लोग ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने वाले हैं तो बेसिकली एक रिंग है और एक स्फीयर है सॉलिड स्फीयर है यहाँ पे राइट साइड पे दोनों का रेडियस सेम है आर और डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सेंटर ऑफ द रिंग एंड द सेंटर ऑफ द स्फीयर इज अंडर रूट आर एट आर और रिंग का मास है एम और स्फीयर का मास है कैपिटल एम सो वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज दैट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन द रिंग एंड द स्फीयर If both were spheres, then it is very easy. We can easily find out the force using the standard formula that is g into m1 m2 divided by r square. But here, oh, the problem is that this one is not a sphere; it is a ring. So we have to take a different approach to calculate the force. So what we have to do is that we have to find the force between one particle or the one point on this ring. and center of the sphere okay so we will find that force and then we will integrate for every particle or every point on this ring so if you do that integration we will get the net force so first of all uh, what we want to do is that we want to find that force between one particle with mass dm and center of the sphere and then we will do the integration so let us assume that the force between the one particle and the center of the sphere is df and it is given by gravitational constant dm dm is this small particle on the ring with mass dm capital m is the mass of the sphere divided by distance between their centers so for this particular particle this is the center right and for the sphere this is the center so we have to find basically the distance uh, of this particular uh, dashed line and we can easily find that using the pythagoras theorem so you can see the radius of the ring is r and distance between the centers of this ring and the sphere is under root 8r so that distance is going to be 3r okay so basically we have to take the square of that so that will be the small force between one particle on that ring and center of the sphere but that force uh, let us represent that using the factor so that force will be acting like this in this direction and this particular uh, vector is basically uh, can be split into two components so one is horizontal and one is vertical like this and if you consider another particle which is directly opposite to this particular particle say particle p1 and let us say this particle is p2 so again for the particle p2 uh, we will have the similar forces one horizontal and one vertical so you can see that this vertical components or the vertical component of the force vector are getting cancelled out and horizontal uh, force component should be considered to calculate the net force so basically we have to consider all these horizontal components of the forces and then take the integration and then we will get the answer so what we have to do here is that we have to find that horizontal component so let us say this is the angle theta if it is theta then this particular component will be df cos theta okay so net force will be integration of that df cos theta so df is basically this one right we have already calculated df so let us put that value Nine R square into cos theta. How we can calculate cos theta? So cos theta is gonna be this side. So this is gonna be under root eight R, right? Divided by this side. This is three R. So it is gonna be equal to, and the integration will start from zero to m. R R will cancel out over here, so we can take G M divided by 27 R square outside, and up there there will be under root of eight. An integration from zero to M D M. So finally that. Net force will be under root of eight gm divided by twenty-seven r square 
m so that will be the final answer